now you've heard the good news that your girl is officially employed again for the first time in two years. This is for in two years. So today I decided to go to the shop and buy me a whole lot of new clothes. So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you what I got. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Adrian, recently employed, might I add. And so in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you what I got. I, this will not be a try on haul because I literally spent like five hours today in and out of the shop trying on clothes. I'm so over it. And this video will just be like 10 hours long and no one would watch till the end anyway. So before I get into it, let me just explain. I decided to buy new clothes logically because I'm going to a new job. But also my age, like I'm 25 now, like I'm almost 30, you know. So apart from having a new job or not, I wanted to update my closet to make it more matured looking. Most of the time I look like I'm 50 anyway and I don't wear makeup apart from on YouTube. So without the makeup, with my height being like 1.4, like I'm really short. So. I look like a kid all the time so hopefully with my new clothes and with my new job and everything I will look a bit older right and also like going to the new job I kind of wanted to reinvent myself okay on some young Emily in Paris vibes why is this strip keep falling off anyway so I've decided to be that girl that is just super extra and just dresses like she's going to a runway as opposed to going to work they kind of okay with like a semi casual you know jeans and like t-shirt if you must but of course Aiden is extra Aiden is bougie so she will not look like that so without any more talking let's get into the haul so the first thing I got was from the fix so by the fix I actually only got one item which was this mom jeans uh I don't know why just because my mommy hates the jeans that I have so I don't own a mom jeans all of my jeans is jeggings literally because I'm a leggings freak I'll wear leggings 365 days a year so and me having jeggings which is not really jeans so this is kind of then kind of you know the only jeans that I have and this one was 250 rand from the fix and then I went over to Truers. So at Truers, the first thing I got was this top. Let me show you. So it has like a, apparently my mommy calls it like a hanky chip something. Basically, it's like pointy in the front, if you can see. Um, this was on sale, 50% off. Well, okay, up to 50% off. So this was 180 Ren from Truwoods. Also, I like these things that looks like bandana print. My favorite pants outside of a tight is my black pants, like a sweatpants kind of thing that has this black and white bandana print. You probably see it all over my Instagram because I wear it all the time. Um, so I love this. Love, love, love. And then the second thing that I bought at Truwoods was this black formal pants again i hope it's in short i'm really bad at these kind of videos but i guess that's why people like it so the only thing you can see over here like this button hangs so i just need to make it tighter again but i guess that's why it was on sale so this one was 300 rand marked down to 300 rand this is my first like formal pants thing and i really like this so not yet too sure what shoe I'm gonna wear with it. Not the flat shoe because then wearing this I look like a oompa loompa, like literally. So anyway, on to the next shop. So then the next place I stopped at was H&M and I got me obviously a black pencil skirt. You see, I don't have anything. Like I am like jeans not even jeans tights and sneakers kind of girl so the whole time when i was shopping i'm like adrian work clothes adrian work clothes i'm like look at that hoodie adrian work clothes and i like wearing like neon like black and then something neon so i had to focus i had to focus i had to do a lot of braining and hence me not trying all this clothes on because my feet is sore from walking all day and i'm just tired of trying on clothes this is only the stuff that i bought i tried on another 50 million things and i was like i don't like that so 
like I said, a pencil skirt that I got from H&M and this one was marked down. So this one was only 152 Rand. I like the way it looks when I'm like standing. It looks nice, everything. But when I sit, it's a bit tight and uncomfortable. But anyway, suffer for beauty. And then as you can see by the size of this bag, I went crazy at Mr. Price. So if you know me, you know I do not ever in life shopping at Mr. Price, right? Only because I hate the fact that whatever I'm wearing, someone else is wearing it too. Like, must, yeah, if, you know how it goes. Everybody wear Mr. Price and I hate wearing something that somebody else wears. So someone need to invent some government system where whatever clothes, like if I have this, then nobody else in the world can have it. Like only one of things make my life so much easier so this is kind of like the first time in a couple of years that i went to mr price because i also wanted a lot of stuff and i was also very conscious of money so i rather just went in to mr price instead of buying a bag like this from h&m so at mr price i got this shirt i always wanted a blue shirt with lines but i didn't try this on i was not i was over it at this point uh, this one was only 160 Hopefully it fits. I wanted it to be a bit longer because of course then I can wear it with the tights and it'll cover my bum and everything so it will still be kind of work appropriate. Well, hopefully work appropriate. That one just fell on the floor. Oopsie. And then I bought just a whole lot of basics which is why I went to the price because if everybody has the same of this like it doesn't actually matter. So I bought this one, um, which you can see has like almost like looks like corduroy. I love the way it feels. The material is so nice. Um, it's this almond color, and this one was eighty rand. So I bought this one. Just you can see the shape like around the neck on this one, and then I bought the same thing in white. Also eighty rand. There's an aeroplane. Then these ones are a little bit different. You can see the way it's cut and stuff. So these ones were also I did it. So a black one. So then that's obviously almond, not brown. Almond white. The black one. And then I also took a mint one, which is also I did it. So these, like I said, these kind of things I don't mind if people have the same of like what I'm wearing because I wear a jacket with that, the different pants with that and stuff like that. So no one will really know. So these actually will look really nice with the pants that I got into it with the buttons, like whichever color. So that's kind of the plan. You can literally wear the same pants, just change the color of your top and you have a whole new outfit. And the last thing that I bought was these kind of pair of shoes. So, okay, I told you I'm a sneaker girl, right? So I still needed to incorporate, incorporate sneakers in my work outfit. So just to make it more professional and not going with like Air Forces and Air Maxes and stuff, I decided to buy this. I follow a girl on TikTok that does like workwear, professional workwear. So she's the one that told me to buy all the stuff. So daddy, if the bill is high, tell that girl. <laughs> so... Yeah, I got these ones at Mr. Price. This was 160. So it's still sneakers kind of. So I feel comfortable with this. And then I bought the similar one, but this was just brown, brown like leather kind of. At legit. But it was so tight, like in the front. I took it back. So right now my mom and dad is not here. They went to go and exchange that brown one like it's so exactly like this with the colors everything but just said legit with the brown leather they went to exchange that for a pair of wedges so it's like a brown wedge with like um yellow strap ups you know like gladiator yeah so at least i have wedges and things and yeah so with the shoes specifically i wanted to i don't want to i don't want to go in like being too bougie, you know, wearing heels and just in case, I don't know how much running around this job requires or if I'm more sitting down all day. So that could also depend like what exactly I wear. So I just started small, you know, with like a bit of heels in here, a bit of wedges and then I don't know, I thought I would have had more shoes. So at this point I only have two new pairs of shoes for work. So I must, must play around with two pairs of shoes and, and hope that nobody picks it up. Plus I have 
plain white Soviet sneakers that I tried to wash today. So three sneakers, so to say, that I can play around with. So yeah, that is my work clothes. I'm so excited because I think the shopping cart fix really like just loves your whole mood. So these are things that I'll be mix and matching with clothes that I obviously already have. And that's why I also didn't want to put it on now because then I have to go find the pants to put like uh I I just it was a long day. It was like four or five hours of just walking around. I'm tired. I'm hungry. So I didn't try any of these things on. But I hope you like this video and that you don't go buy anything that I just bought. Like I said, I hate when people wear the same thing as me, so don't go buy anything that you saw in this video. <laughs> Just say that looks nice and move on with your life. Don't buy it. Please, I am begging you. Otherwise, if I do buy things like a rib jeans or whatever, I end up coming home and like just dripping it a bit different, adding a new rib or whatever. Just to make it look a little bit different compared to everybody else. So, I'm actually quite happy with my, with my with price purchases been been a while since I've been in there so they have quite nice things except like I said I don't like wearing stuff that anybody else wears so fingers crossed nobody else wears the same thing as me and I am the bougie queen of the office also this is really more for like formal vibes for when I go to job for training but when I'm actually at the office then my boss said like it's fine you can do like the whole sneaker thing but when you go to head office you must look profish so that's why I had to get wedges and all these funny things also I got necklaces which I got the other night which is not here it's like a set of three three gold and three silver um, but it is not in my room it's in my mom's room so that being said don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this video or if you like something my hair I don't know like the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one